three seater sofa which actually hello and welcome to another video if you haven't already don't forget to press that subscribe button click the notification bell and like this video because it helps the algorithm to help my channel grow now i like to do how to and helpful videos um, now this video is going to show you how to build a Grunlid three-seater sofa or two-seater sofa. We've already done one there and my ass is buggered it already probably but now I'm going to show you how to do a three-seater and what comes with the, th with, the, with the sofas. Basically you have the bottom these, these screws came with these, with this one. You get all these of the other the, the pillows at the back here. But they're all flat packed and you get the, you get all the cushions in this. Tells you on it that it's a three seater via that there. Um yep. And you get um the two side cushions but what it doesn't tell you is that before you assemble it you have to put all the covers on on everything the covers there are for these and these covers there are for that that and these and you don't even need a tool it's all hand done i'm going to show you how to do it and then i'm going to build it right in front of you here show you different stages so you know exactly how it's got to be done so uh Let's do this. So, as you can see, I've put the cover onto this. You have to slide it down over it. Slide it down like this. So the back is covered. The front is that side and that side doesn't matter. It's got it's vel those or velcroed onto those. You have to slide them all the way down like that. So it's effectively like that is the back cover and you've got to put the covers onto these these are the two armrests and you get these holes here and then what all you do with this is you have another cover just a slither just to cover the front here just a slither here that's how it is and it velcros around there so what you do is you get some screws as i said like this make sure they go in the small end not the big end the small end goes in there like that you screw it up like, like that so they're all in nicely and then once this is on as you can see this has holes there 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 and down there you place you place that gently onto there, onto these four screws and use these to, to basically effectively tighten it together so effectively you put your screw them on like that you slide um, this whole this whole mechanism here slide it onto the holes and then you just screw it up by twisting these like that and if you want to release them you undo them So, as you can see, um, you put the sides on, and it tells you in the booklet. This is the for this is for that side. This is this description, but you just replicate it on this side. So, because of these, you've got the hole there, you've got a hole there, and you've got and then um, it screws through the thing. So you have to put one here. You miss out this. You put one there. You miss out that, and you put one through that thing, and that goes through this piece of thing here which then goes through there, there, and into there. But what they don't tell you on the instructions straight away, um, they don't tell you here about it, but they don't tell you which way it goes because it's a weird thing. So you've got to put that on to there. I don't know why. I have no clue why. It tells you you've got to put the plastic thing on there, and then you put the washer on, the nut on and then you use the tool which is in there to screw it up and you gotta do that on all three and then you do then you then you repl replicate it on that side 
So I'll do that. I'll, I'll replicate it on that. This I'll do this. I'll put the replicate on that upside down. Now, now I'll put it down. Sit it down, and then I'll we'll, well, then we'll then we'll put these all together and these all together. But I'm hoping that you're getting the gist of this, basically. So effectively, you screw that to there, screw that and that to there after you put all the covers on, and then you pull it forward and you put all the cushions on, and it should be sick. So let's see how it looks once I've screwed the two sides together and I've put and I've dropped it down basically let's see so once you've drilled all these in and you've put that there and that there and there's one there as well and obviously done the vice versa on those bear in mind when you change these covers which they are changeable covers um, you have to undo all these um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These ten, you take these ten screws out to actually to be able to change the covers. So it is quite an ordeal to change the covers when you need to. But when it when they're done, they do look sick. So I'm going to um, put it back up now. Show you what it looks like without uh, the covers on without the all the cushions that are here because these are all vacuum packed sealed and all them i'll put them in the, put the covers and i'll show you how they look then with with it so let's get let's pull it up and to show you how it looks so as you can see it's a bloody long sofa so once it's in it's in but so now i'm going to put these in and like magic And just like that, it's made. It took a while. Obviously, it took a while. And I've got to take a few things out to make room now. But, another sofa done. And that is how you make the three-seater, because it would say two nets to Grunlid if it, if it was that one. So this one, that is how you make the Grunlid three-seater. So if you like this video and it was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and um, enjoy your new sofa. And if you, if you do get another sofa, let me know in the comments what colour you chose. If you chose this colour, being creamy white, well white, you chose red, green, what colour you actually chose. Well, thanks again for watching, I hope it was helpful and I'll see you soon to another hopefully constructive and helpful video. Bye-bye.